Okay, today I've got a couple of blocks here. They're inch and three eighths square, about five and a half inches long. And I want to make two different hot dog handles. And what this first one is going to go on uh, my jack plane here. And what a hot dog handle is, is it mounts on the side here so that it, as you're using the blade or the uh, plane on its side, it gives you something to hang on to. So I'm going to I'm going to cut a uh, kerf down the center. It has to be about a little over 200 thousandths uh, wide. Uh, locate a set screw and then just see how it fits and then I'll shape it. From there. mounted on my rail here and slide this over about 80 thousandths and then we'll test fit it on my plane. good fit right off the bat. Now there's no great mystery to drilling and tapping wood. It's fairly easy to do. What I like to do in this case because it's uh, I'm going to be shaping this handle. I, I countersunk my hole here and I'm going to go with 3 8 a 16 instead of a quarter 20 because just because I have I couldn't find a quarter 20 set screw so I, I'm just going to drop this in there. Like I say that that taper helps funnel that tap in there. I got a little uh, wax on it. And just just feed it back and forth a couple times. That's all there is to it. That's going to work just great. So it does take just a little bit of a turn to snug that up on there. I can slide it up a little bit if I need to. Right there. That's it. just a little bit of a, maybe an eighth of a turn to snug it up. And that should give me much better holding power than what I had before. So I'm going to round over these three edges. This one, this one, and this one. There's no need to, to round over that bottom one. I'll just uh, break the corner with some sandpaper on that one. Well, there she is mounted on my uh, low angle jack plane. This is a Lee Nelson, or uh, sorry, a Veritas. And uh, let's just see how I'm, it feels pretty good. So I got a piece of poplar here. We'll see how, how, the, how it works. But you can see that I'm, now I've got something to grab onto here anyway. That's perfect. Alright, I just finished my hot dog handle for uh, my Wood River. This is a, I think this is a six. Yeah, this is a number six. And I'll be honest with you, I kind of like the fact that, th that I'm, I'm able to grab it right here. That kind of works for me. I mean, it's, uh, it's very long. I could probably cut off maybe two inches here. But I think it works better than, than, than coming up here and grabbing it. 
I like to be behind the blade like that, right there. So yeah, maybe cut off an inch and a half. But let me show you the, uh, and, and, uh, and it took me two, two tries to get this thing figured out. My first one was uh, pretty rough actually. So, um, what, I, what I did was you, you cut two 45s. Actually what I did was I cut my kerf first all the way down. I then located these 45s here. Uh, and and uh, then set my depth of cut on the 45s to this depth right here. So it's a shallow, shallower cut. And then that leaves that, uh, that ridge all the way along here. This way. Where the heck am I? Wow. <laughs> So yeah, there it is. So it leaves this ridge all along here. And uh, that's what you're resting on, this part of the casting here. So, um, and then this tiny little relief cut uh, for the frog. So it just slips on. And you just kind of slide it into position like that. So that little relief cut bottoms up against the frog here. And then I'm just going to put two set screws in this one, one here and one here, and uh, and then round over the corners like I did with my other ones. And I think that that'll that'll work just fine. You want to have those set screws up in that area and behind there. So yeah, I'm thinking right in here and right in there. Okay, let's see how she fits. Push it forward. Yeah, I want to keep it down this way. Good. It's going to work great. Well, it might be a bit crude yet. I've got maybe a little more rounding over to do on it here. But I think that's going to be just perfect right there. This ended up being uh, 9 inches long, so I ended up taking a full 2 inches off. But it gets this right, this corner ends up being right here in the meat of your hand. That gives you a good place to, to grip and push with. So I'm looking forward to using that. So I gotta refine this corner a little bit. I'm gonna shape this a little bit more. But that's where it comes into you know making it fit your hand type thing. So I don't have to worry about this end. I, I might just touch that a little bit because I'll never be out there. That's, that's it. That's going to be good. Tell you what, we're fine tuning the end cut of a board, you know, if you just, if you're trying to make a nice snug fit between a couple of styles or something, that is beautiful. Paper thin shavings that are coming off of there. <laughs>